Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to be installing the magnetometer and a Grumman Tiger as part of the Skyview DHX system by Dynon. So stay tuned while we have some fun with this install. And so we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Good afternoon. Today we are installing a portion of the Dynon HDX system. Uh, specifically the magnetometer that's going in the rear. So you can see our panel is just about ready to be installed. Most of our uh, airplane to panel interconnects are connected. We still have to thread them through. Uh, but one last uh, module we have to install is the magnetometer, which is installed in this plane in the rear, back behind the hat shelf, on a shelf that we've repurposed from a storm scope. So this guy needs to be, and this is our magnetometer, uh, shortly to get the lead away. We're looking for a very uh, uh, non-magnetic, non-interference area. So the only thing we have within two feet of these are our um, coax cables and our control cables. Um, and I think we have two wires down on the ground next to this shelf that are going back to the tail for uh, the tail strobe and the uh, ELT connection. So anyway, this unit needs to be mounted perfectly level uh, in both the horizontal and lateral, lateral and longitudinal axes. And what I've got here is a uh, level that shows me all accesses. Uh, now, this platform was not necessarily level to the plane in flight, uh, but it was level. So, what I had to do in order to get this level in flight is I had to level the air, airframe. So, we put a level across our leveling point, which are these rails. Make sure we're horizontally and uh, longitudinally level. And Roscoe had fabricated some really nice ramps for weighing, which you also have to be in flight level level. Um, so we rolled this girl up on to our scales, even though we're not weighing, and did our fine tuning on level by inflating and deflating these tires. So these tires, the mains are low. Uh, the nose wheel is maybe a little bit overinflated, but that's how we got our level. So then once we got it level, uh, we came back and shimmed the magnetometer with nylon washers. So I have quarter inch washers in the rear and then uh, maybe one or two thin nylon washers in the front to get our, get our uh, unit level. So this needs to be within one degree of level flight for calibration to go easily. So as you can see, and I'm not going to stick the camera up there because I don't know where I'll be pointing at, but we are level in both uh, longitudinal this way and, and latitude, roll and pitch. So that should be a keeper. And then we'll route this cable. Uh, there's a there's an extension cable and we'll route that guy to go up the pilot side uh, Getting real close to putting the panel in in here probably tomorrow and then we'll dress up all these co all these new coax cables and uh, Get some progress done and then uh, we will fire up the new panel and give you a, give you a look But that's where we're at on project tiger as of today so we hope you found all that useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman. Well, let me apologize for the lighting because a lot of times I don't have time to go turn on a light when I want to film them playing with paper on the floor or wrestling with each other. A lot of times it happens in the wee hours of the night and I just can't throw enough light on there. So please accept my apology and enjoy their antics and their fun. Thank you.